Alright, today we're going to be changing the rotors and the pads. First thing, pop this wheel off. Then we'll uh, spray the bolts down with some lubrication. You know, a little air crawl. Lubricate those nuts before we put a wrench on them. You know, get my little bungee cord in there to carry, hold up the caliper. These caliper bolts. It's the bolt and it's screwed right into the slide bolt. Not too bad, they're coming out easy. I got an impact, but uh, I'm doing it by hand. Old school. Uh, hang the caliper in a little bunch of cord, keep it out the way you don't want it hanging on the brake hose. Now we gotta get that caliper bracket off. And look, actual pads don't look too bad. They're like a little less than halfway. Spray a little more aerocrawl on the two bolts in the back for the carrier. Yeah, I know. I don't have a breaker bar. I'll get one. So I'm using a cheetah pipe and a little breaker bar. I need a, like a half inch one. Maybe my wife will get me one for Christmas. Man, I doubt it. <laughs> Can wish, right? Anyway. Alright. Screw these those bolts off in the back. Uh, here we go. I've got the top one out. Now I'm doing the bottom one. quite handy probably because of the weight of the bracket you know instead of me lifting it up see how easy it got once I lift it up the bottom it can't hit a home run every time it's like you can't strike out every time all right a little break clean and we're gonna put a little never never seize on the face this way when we pull them the next time to check it won't be stuck with rust get the rotors they got a little coating on them so they don't rust you want to spray some very clean and wipe them off otherwise you're gonna have a hard time stopping <clears throat> put the rotor on now we're gonna regrease some slide pins inspect them make sure they ain't got no grooves war spots you know I'm not using regular grease that is brake grease for the slide pins like a silicone base I'm coating it on nice and good now look see they slide in and out pretty easy pretty good now we gotta mount, we gotta mount that puppy back uh, never sees the nut some people want to use you know thread tight on there I don't want to put anything that's going to make it hard for me to get it out. I'm going to tighten it up. I don't have a torque wrench yet, so bear with me. It's going to be cheetah pipe tight. Takes a little bit of playing with to get the bolts to line up, but once you got it, it's all good. Once again, sorry. I don't got that camera angle straight. I'll get it. I had it on my head. I went and bought me a little tripod so I could do a better job the next time. Hit it with the impact. Tighten it up. Worked pretty good. Now we got that straight. We can uh, tighten it up those bracket bolts with the cheetah pipe. Uh, you can't see it too much because you know I'm all over the place Once with this again. camera on my head. Yeah. I'll learn. Bear with me people. <laughs> but I'm getting it. I think it's about tight. Now we can take the caliper off. We're going to push in the pistons uh, 
off camera. I took the cap off of the reservoir on the master cylinder. This way, push the fluid back in. Uh, some people like to put a rag on the top. This way, if it has spillage, but I did this a couple of times on the truck and never had any spillage, so I didn't stick no rag around it. I just got the cap open, venting it. I couldn't get directly in the center of the caliper, so I did on each side. Probably didn't have to do that either, but better to be safe than sorry. Gonna hang the caliper back up for a second. Throw my little spacer in there. Now I'm gonna grease where the little brackets go in. Some people say you don't have to grease that and just grease the inside of the bracket. Some people say do it, you know, so because there's so many conf conflicting uh, recommendations, I greased it on there and I greased the little brackets, you know, so everyone's right. I edit out a lot of the little fumbling around looking for stuff, so you're just going to get the quick version. These videos end up becoming long, you know? Anyway, now this is me putting the grease back on in the, in the little cracks where the pad slides in. And I made sure I didn't get no grease on the rotor itself. Just in the little grooves where the pad's gonna slide in and out. And on the Dodge Charger, it's fairly easy. Those pads go in and out nice and smooth. You know, on my Jeep, different story you gotta finagle it a little also doesn't have a carrier like this where you put it in the carrier carrier first all right now we got the caliper already compressed we slide in them uh, slide bolts and uh, put the caliper in you know once again a little nephesis on, on the nut get her in there hand tight Another season on, on the bottom. Boom. Slides right in. Get a hand tight. Doing it with wrenches. You know, hold back up. Like I told you before, the slide pin has a hook. Has, is threaded on the top and you're going into the slide pin. So you gotta hold back up. You know. You don't have to be, you know, moron tight. Just gotta be, you know, pretty tight. I'm sure there's a torque spec. Straightening my wheel back out so I can put the wheel back on. There she goes, popping in. Um, I used to have the lug nut keys, but my key wore out. And I had to go take it to the shop to get it cut out. So I ended up having four of the same big ones and one smaller that I had lying around because I got rid of those lug nut keys. That's why you see me interchanging the socket and I could have changed it but I figured this if somebody was gonna come and take my rims they're gonna need two sockets that's gonna be longer time and I have a, a better chance of catching them and when you live in the hood you gotta think about these things because I live in the hood anyway that's me rotating my sockets getting them all tightened up when I jack it back to the ground, I'm going to hit it with the breaker bar or lug wrench and uh, get them tight, tight. Uh, next time, I'll buy a torque wrench and I'll do this to specs. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.